to YouTube, Team Keep It Clean. I really ain't even know where to start, man, because the NFL world is just, it's going crazy right now. And we are like on the eve of training camp. It's right there. But before we get into this Team Keep It Clean, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hope everybody is doing good. Now, um, let's start with the pass rushes. Because we got like a lot to talk about because a lot of people got a lot of stuff going on. But let's start with the pass rushes. So Darius Smith. So Darius Smith, he put up that tweet a couple days ago, and he was like, oh, I'm looking for a realtor in Green Bay. So with all the Aaron Rodgers stuff going on, and apparently the, now the rumor is that he, if he's still going to be on the Packers, then he plans on retiring before training camp. But this is, see, this is the type of rumor that I like because we will know within the next two days if that rumor is true or not. We'll know like right away. We ain't got to sit around and wait and like, oh, oh, I wonder if this, wonder if that. No, we will know very quickly if that rumor is going to be true. But anyway, with all the drama going on with Aaron Rodgers right now, a lot of Packers fans are stressed out right now. So when they saw that tweet from Zadarius Smith about the realtor, they were like, oh, boy, here we go. Zadarius Smith, too. Come on now. But then Zadarius Smith was like, no, no, no. I'm just I'm looking to sell my house. That's it. Or he said he's looking to sell his house or buy a house. I forgot which one it was. But anyway, he shot that down. But then Pro Football Talk and then some other people, too, they were like, no, that's Darius Smith trying to downplay the whole thing. He actually is unhappy with his contract at the moment. So I was thinking, oh, boy. And I know a lot of Ravens fans. Because a lot of Ravens fans, including myself, did not want Zadarius Smith to be the odd man out. Even though we knew and expected Zadarius Smith to be the odd man out when his contract ran out. He knew, we knew he outpriced himself from the Ravens. He knew he outpriced himself from the Ravens. We knew he was gone. Um, so, yeah, that happened. And he's been doing a phenomenal job over there with the Green Bay Packers ever since. But anyway, another pass rusher. Just today it came out that Arizona's Chandler Jones who's back healthy again after he had, I believe, the neck I injury last year. Uh, he was getting ready to team up with J.J. Watt. I'm over here thinking, oh, man, this is about to be a fire combo. You got J.J. Watt on one side. You got Chandler Jones on the other side. Oh, that's going to be a beautiful thing. But now Chandler Jones has requested a trade from the Cardinals. And then again, a lot of got a lot of Ravens fans think because you know Ravens fans, you know how we do, man. You know how we do. And I'm sure I'm gonna get some emails with some questions from subscribers and whatnot. But you know how we always we always thinking like you know how EDC Eric DeCosta he's always thinking of making the team better. Like Ravens fan, we always thinking of how to make this team like a super team. But I know I got a lot of Ravens fans buzzing about Chandler Jones and the possibilities. But we'll see if anything happens. I I don't think it will. But anyway. That was that. Now, whew, this thing been wild. Now, on some more calmer news, uh, recently released cornerback uh, Steven Nelson, uh, he signed a deal with the Eagles. So good for him because he doesn't have to make this long journey to a whole nother state. He gets to still stay in Pennsylvania. He just right up the road now. So that makes life a lot easier uh, for him. Uh, a trade that went down. A trade that went down, uh, it was a quiet trade, because I ain't see nobody really talking about it like that. Anthony Miller uh, from the Chicago Bears. Um, Anthony Miller got traded to the Houston Texans. Now, who his quarterback is going to be, that's to be determined. But, speaking of Texans quarterback, oh, nice little segue right there. Speaking of Texans quarterback, a lot of people would assume, oh, yeah, it's going to be Tyrod Taylor, because that is the quarterback on the Texans roster who, besides Deshaun Watson, obviously, but who has the most, who is the veteran guy, got the most experience and whatnot. But Deshaun Watson is expected to report to training camp today. And that is, that makes things a lot trickier because he hasn't been disciplined by the NFL. Uh, we don't know if he will be disciplined by the NFL for all the allegations and whatnot. So that story's still going on because, again, there was a period of time in the offseason where that story was going crazy. There was so much buzz around it and whatnot. And then all of a sudden, it got really quiet. It got super quiet. But then, speaking of Deshaun Watson again, and we were just talking about Philly, the Eagles, they are rumored to be the team, the team where if Deshaun Watson, if everything gets cleared up, if everything is good to go, if the, the smoke clears and it's like, all right, Deshaun Watson, you can play. Then Philly 
is said to be the team that would acquire him. And, you know, if you look at their quarterback situation, right now they have a Jalen Hurts and a Joe Flacco. Who the starter's going to be? I know most people will say Jalen Hurts, but at the same time, I think it's a big question mark on that. Because, you know, Joe Flacco obviously got plenty of experience. You know what he can do. You know what he's good at. You know what he can do. You know what he's bad at. But you know what you're going to get out of Joe Flacco. But with Jalen Hurts, is to be determined. So, that's that. Uh, the Vikings, they, of course, a couple days ago, they signed D.D. Westbrook. So, that was something right there. Um... And yeah, that's that that pretty much sums it up, man. That pretty much sums it up. Uh NFL, I'm I'm loving this because now we getting there. Training camp is like cuz in the off season, way after free agency, of course after the draft and everything, stuff slows down and there's a lot of speculation that goes on. There's a lot of oh, maybe this could happen, maybe that could happen. But now since training camp is here, we're going to see what's going to happen. We're going to see what's going to go down, and we're going to see uh, exactly what it is, man. So, I love it. Like I said, the NFL, they're going crazy right now. But I'm with each and every bit of their craziness. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And we out. <laughs>